Hello everybody, Jardine here. <laughs> it's been quite a while and I do apologize. I don't want to give anything away yet, but I've been doing some pretty cool stuff. I know that my past few videos have been on climbing, however, I wanted to do some more. Particularly, particularly, specifically I want to use the folding grappling hook again. I never knew that video would get as popular as it did, and if I did know, I would have done a better job on it. I've made it pretty short, and there were some issues with it. Uh, namely, that I couldn't get very high because of the way I was climbing. Some people thought I couldn't climb, but I showed in the video, like, the edge of the camera was where the grappling hook was. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to come out, give it a better shot, and try some new trees, and give an updated review. Also, before I get to the video, uh, some of you guys may heard of this YouTuber named, like, S. Seth something. Now, he's got, like, 900,000 subscribers almost, and... In his recent video on, I think it was a Might and Magic game, he used a one second clip of me, which isn't that special, but it made me like spit out my drink just seeing me appear on such a huge uh, channel. Uh, I left a comment, but it got buried. You know how comments are. But anyway, check it out. I'm going to link it. It's just really funny seeing a clip of me pop up from such a popular YouTuber. Anyway, let's get to the video. So, like I said, I'm going to be using the folding grappling hook again. And the first thing, maybe you already noticed, is that shortly after my first video, uh, I hope I left this in the description or something, this top did bend, the threaded section where you actually connect your thingamajigs. So, that's a pretty big deal. Uh, it happened like right after I made that video and I was pretty disappointed. It still functions, however, that is definitely a weak point now. And please, if this happens, don't try this at home. I am an expert at being stupid. Let me do it. So, I'm going to do some more climbing uh, at this ironwood tree right behind me. It's got some nice Ys up there. Hopefully they don't break on me, and hopefully this doesn't break. Anyway, let me get some shots of me throwing this up and get to it. Just to recap, before I start throwing, what I do is I just tied a very simple double knot here and a small figure eight as a safety knot at the very end. No guarantee it would save me, but it doesn't hurt. And now I have done more professional style tree climbing, arborist work. Uh, in fact, I was just doing it two days ago in college. And this is not a uh, climbing grade, like tree climbing rope, and these are not tree climbing knots. However, I think I'll be fine, just want to point that out. Now, like I said, I'm going to be slinging up at that ironwood tree behind me, and I'm going to start by doing some underhand, just kind of toss it up. And if that doesn't work, I might try some different tosses, such as a normal overhand. Alright, so the first thing I noticed immediately, uh, especially since I was just doing normal, like, arborist tree climbing, is that that is so much harder <laughs> than doing that. Uh, I actually had to switch into my tabby boots just because my normal shoes, uh, when I was trying to, like, get them along the line, they weren't going tight enough. So I ended up using that little toe technique again. Uh, I know some people pointed out that that's not very traditional as... You know, uh, Old Ninja probably wouldn't have had rubber tabby, and I understand. However, that was extremely difficult. Uh, I think if I was going to climb normally like I imagined I was, I'd need a thicker rope, because this is the rope it came with, and that is far too thin for just descending by hand. That, or I need larger knots. And just for anyone who didn't uh, see my other videos, this is how easy it is to just climb like a thin tree or something, or you can actually get your grip on it. So, <laughs> I'm 
the rope is considerably harder. <laughs> do it it's not too bad but if I wasn't doing this toe technique I think it would be extremely difficult there's also a lot of sway oh, and it is a lot harder getting down if you're doing that again I know it's probably hard to see through video and people are probably just gonna say that I can't climb and that I'm too weak but the rope being that thin is an extreme hindrance so if I do this again, I think I'm gonna have to go to Home Depot and get some real thicker rope because that is extremely strenuous on the hands of the entire body. So everybody, my main takeaways from using this today are that one, especially after now that I have experience with nice ropes and actual arborist stuff, uh, you need thicker rope if you're going to use that thing. That is far too thin. It strains the hands incredibly. And I think I have pretty decent climbing muscles. Uh, I'm not like a professional, but I'm pretty decent. But that was very terrible on the hands and legs. And if I didn't have the tabby boots, I don't know if I could have done it, honestly. Uh, so if you get it, buy better rope. It was structurally sound. It never bent again. I dug in well and it was easy to get out. I hope you enjoyed. I still recommend the tool and I'm glad I tried it again, although I need to get better rope if I'm gonna use it. And let me know if you do wanna see more of it, I'll go to Home Depot and buy something uh, to climb with. But anyway, that's really it. I'll see you guys.